What the heck? Uh, this is why I love TikTok. Oh gosh. Why do I like it? That was the one that broke the cycle. Uh-uh. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We're bringing back a video that I did, I think about a year ago when I got really, really into TikTok, still very into TikTok. It's an addiction at this point and I have so many different things on my little favorites tab of different food hacks, different restaurants that I wanna try, different audios and songs that I like. So today I wanna try out a bunch of the different food hacks and recipes that I save on there. I have six different ones to try today. They're ones that I'm just very curious about how they taste and a lot of people have made TikToks of them trying them and saying that they're good. So we're gonna put them to the test today, try them out for ourselves and see if I like them and like recommend them to you guys. So the first one that I have actually needs to sit in the fridge for like an hour and that is ranch pickles. You know, it sounds disgusting, but people, I mean, their reactions seems like they like them. Seems like it's good. So I don't know, we're gonna see. We have some kosher pickles here and Hidden Valley Ranch mix. I don't know. Oh my goodness. That is like filled to the brim. I'm a big pickle fan. So we got our pickles. I don't even know if this whole thing is gonna fit. Make sure it's on. Mix her up. Oh gosh. All right, there you go. Now let's put it in the fridge. It says wait about an hour or overnight. We're gonna wait an hour to see how it tastes. I cannot explain how excited I am for the next one. We have this pickled garlic concoction that literally took over my for you page for a couple of days and i'm finally trying it it was like a couple weeks ago but i'm still so curious so we're gonna try it out i found this at sprouts it was literally like a dollar thirty it's basically pickled garlic cloves and then we have some sriracha chili powder and thyme we drained out the juice add in sriracha kind of gonna eyeball these but chili whoa <laughs> that was a lot and some thyme and just like the ranch we're gonna shake it up this is what it is looking like now let's try it out whoa what the heck it's spicy You know, I was expecting it, me going in for a third bite. <laughs> I was expecting it to pack a punch. She's flavorful. She's got a lot of flavor. I just don't understand how that girl like can eat this whole thing like one, one like once a day. Like, ow. I don't know why I'm eating another one. Okay, I give it like a three out of five. Like, I don't think I would do this again, but I'm glad I tried it. I do not know how that girl eats that much. Oh my goodness. Now let's take a little break from the food and do a beverage. You know, everyone posts like their coffee recipes, their matcha latte recipes, and now I've seen a lot of people post their chai latte recipes. I found one girl that showed that this brand has a decaf version of the chai latte, which I don't try to have like a ton of caffeine on a day-to-day -day basis, so I thought this was perfect. But I also got the regular kind because I wanted to recreate a drink that was really popular on TikTok, which was the cookie butter latte. This is the chai latte mix I was talking about. So we got decaf and regular. And then the cookie butter latte does have coffee in it, so I got this cold brew. I heard it's good. We have my Trader Joe's oat milk. And then the latte also has a brown sugar syrup, so we're going to try to make our own and sweeten it with this. The cookie butter one, I don't really have a recipe for. I'm going to kind of just like make it up as I go along. But first, let's make the decaf one that I saw. Pour it like halfway. Add our oat milk. Oh my goodness. A little bit of oat milk here. Our Alfred's vanilla syrup. Just a little bit and whisk that up. Well, presentation is just amazing. We do have to add some cinnamon on top too. Let's try. Like, actually stop it. 
That is amazing. I feel like I'm gonna make this all the time at home. It is a little sweet, but I mean, not too sweet. Like if you have a little bit of a sweet tooth at the end of the day, you want some type of drink, you want some type of like latte, this is amazing. I mean, you can also have it with the regular, but if you are looking for a little non-caffeinated drink, a little at-home non-caff drink, here it is. Now let's attempt this at-home cookie butter latte. We'll see how it goes. First do a tablespoon of brown sugar and add a little hot water, vanilla syrup. Add a little too much water, so let's do another half a tablespoon. Stir it up and set it aside. We'll do about that much. We're just gonna use this. I'm really just eyeballing it, like I I really don't know. Add our liquidy syrup. Uh, this is gonna be like a thing that I'm gonna have to perfect later. We'll do two teaspoons of that. Our oat milk. I'm just obsessed with this little like foam, this little like vanilla oat milk foam. So we're gonna add some of that. Okay, Ethan's here to try it. We got our foam on top. Cinnamon? Yeah, some cinnamon. Okay, I don't know about this, love. I'm a little nervous. Do you want to try it first? Mm -hmm. Oh. Is it good? It's great. <gasps> okay, I just like made it up. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'll drink this. That's pretty good. You're good. Wow. Barista. It's yummy. I'm a little barista. There's a little cookie butter latte, everyone. Oh, I just realized that I made the cookie butter latte, but with cold brew for some reason. Why did I add coffee to it? Oh well, we made our own drink, I guess. I think it's really good this way because I feel like it breaks up the sweetness. I don't know, this is pretty freaking good. This next one, I'm just curious. It's kind of like the pickle one. Two things that don't seem like they should go together, but people are eating them and they're saying it's good. So this is watermelon with cinnamon on top. I don't really want to do this, but I, like I said, I'm curious. Let's just do it fast. Let's just do it and get it over with. You look what I'm doing. Eating watermelon with cinnamon on top. <laughs> You're crazy. Like why? Cheers, crazy. you guys. That's kind of freaking good. Why is it good? Why do I like it? Why do I like that? And that girl Janelle posted this. Janelle, I don't think I've ever agreed with you before on your combinations. I don't think I've agreed with you on anything that you eat. But this, you did something here, Janelle. You did something here. One point for Janelle. Next one has to do with an old favorite of mine, which is Uncrustables. I used to eat these all the time. There was a TikTok of making these kind of into donuts. So we're gonna test it out. And we're gonna have to like cut a hole through the middle. Oh, it's kind of working. Oh, look at we have a little snack bite. Let's put this one in the air fryer. We're gonna do 400 for five minutes. Pause. That looks pretty toasty. Some cinnamon and some coconut sugar. Since I didn't like fry it in oil, I think I need to add a little bit of like melted butter. Definitely looks different than the original version. I don't know y'all, I'm excited. People are like comparing it to like a strawberry filled donut. I don't even know how to describe it. So easy to make, so much flavor, so delicious. I give that a 10 out of 10 all around. Next one is gonna be a grilled cheese. Apparently it's supposed to be like Disneyland's grilled cheese sandwich. I love grilled cheese so much, but we're gonna try to make it a dairy-free version. I got all dairy-free things. We're gonna try to make it this way and just see how it goes. I have high hopes for it. I think it's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna start with some cream cheese some grated cheddar cheese. I'm gonna use this Dia brand. Instead of heavy cream, I'm just gonna use some oat milk and salt. 
in here we're gonna do some mayo and i don't really feel like mincing garlic right now so we're just gonna do some garlic powder same thing not really but it'll do and salt bread of choice is gonna be sourdough i'll do a slice of this american cheese there's the trader joe's brand i actually really like it and then a slice of diet cheddar cheese other side you do the cream cheese mixture questionable cream cheese mixture i need to add some like pepper or something it just looks too plain right now let's close this up this is a little mayo garlic salt concoction and let's add to a pan okay i kind of burnt it a little bit the mayo be careful with her she gets it hot nice and toasty is something gonna be bad in this video like this is why i love tiktok bro this is so good sorry it's getting dark outside it's nighttime now and you can use obviously all like regular dairy products if you want but if you are dairy free or if you're vegan go for this because my mayo was also vegan wow voila so yum like i would definitely make this again i'd probably use less of the cream cheese mixture because it was kind of a lot in the middle and i would turn down the heat on my pan obviously but that's a freaking good grilled cheese oh why did i decide to do all these things at once my stomach what is going on we have two more things to do let's get the ranch pickles over with because i'm nervous i really am okay oh i don't really want to do this let's just do a little bite all right Yeah, that was the one. Oh, that was the one. That was the one that broke the cycle. Uh-uh. I just ruined a perfectly good jar of pickles. You know, we were on a roll, something had to break it, and I'm fine that that was the one. I didn't have high hopes for it anyways. This one, it was made for me. Okay, this is from my bae, Coffee Bay. Love her so much. This one is a matcha affogato. Perfect way to end the day, to end the video. So first, let's make our matcha. We got two tablespoons of hot water. I'm gonna use this little pick tea packet. Our dairy-free ice cream of choice is this vanilla ice cream from Ripple. And let's just add the matcha. And then you just wait for the ice cream to melt. Oh, wow. Oh, I can get down with that. That's good. You guys know how much I like my vanilla and matcha mixture. Like, I always add vanilla to my matcha lattes. So, I approve of this. Okay, this video was way more of a success than I thought it was going to be. We did have one and a half fails the pickled garlic not the biggest fan of but i get it the ranch pickles just a no just a no but that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching and i'll see you in the next one